plan today, guys. Um, my four, ah, my voice, my 430 Scuderia is right here, but I am not going to be driving it today. Friend of mine has just bought this, a Toyota GR, or a GR Yaris, basically. I mean, you all know the car. It's very, very popular online. We have come to an area uh, called Le Castellet. Basically, there's the F1, the French F1 track here. Tomorrow, we're going to be going on the F1 track in a challenge car, which I'm super pumped about. But I didn't really know that my friend was planning on buying this, and he showed up with this. I'm going to put his Instagram. And long story short, we decided to switch cars as we we're on our way to go pick up sushi for this evening. So we stopped on the side of the road right now just so that I could film this intro before the sun goes down. I'm going to whack you on my head and we're going to get into the Yaris. Ready? Oh, I hope the angle's okay. And we're going to see what this thing's like on the road. Well, here we are then. We are in the Yaris GR. Whoa! And this sets the tone. We're in sport mode now, which means 70%, I believe, of the power going to the rear. Yep. Is that correct? Because it is a four-wheel drive car. Now, it's beeping all over the place because it's got all these lane assist things, which are really annoying, to be completely honest with you. And we haven't figured out how to switch them off. So they're great if you're on the motorway, which we are not right now. What is this car, by the way? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, scooter rear in front. Okay. Listen to this. God, that scud sounds good. This thing sounds good, but the problem is we didn't think this through, <laughs> did we? Because we've got a Miltake Yaris, but then we've stuck it behind a Capristo scud, so it's going to be tricky to hear it. Oh, it does sound good, though. Oh, are we, have we arrived? Yep. We just arrived. Ah. What? Well, there we go. That's the end of the video. That was a good video. No, joking. We'll, go for, we'll ask to go for another little drive. Okay. I don't really know where we're going now. We've got our sushi. Yep. Um, I have no idea where we're going, but it's pretty beautiful, so I thought I'd film it anyways. This car's got 260 horsepower, of which we are using about 40. Four-wheel drive, and in the different modes, so in track mode, for example, it's 50-50, I believe, right? Yep. Um, power towards the front and towards the back, and in sport mode, it's 30-70, so 70 towards the rear. Oh, it does push. Because of its four-wheel drive, it puts its power down quite nicely. Now, the interior is uh, its quite nice, isn't it? I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but for this kind of car, it's fantastic. I do find these quite expensive, yes. around 50,000 euros, but that's because there's loads of demand for them. So, yeah, people are su super excited about these, rightly so. And just to come back a step to the 70-30 uh, rear-biased four-wheel drive, it means, having driven it, it a little bit now for the French version of this video, oh, that um, contrary to a lot of other hot hatches, this thing is more prone towards the back having a little bit of a good time than the front going skiing in front of you. So more oversteer than understeer, which is really cool. And obviously this was set up in kind of honor of the successes in the World Rally Championship. Um, that. Gazoo Racing, which is what GR stands for, have had. So that's cool. And so it, you can kind of feel that. You are sat quite high up, I find, um, compared to in some other cars. The seats aren't electric. They're so for weight saving. Or was it cost saving? And they just blame it on weight saving. I don't know. I'm going to put my light on just in case. The seats are quite comfy. Um, then they don't hold you in that much to be completely honest. And, I mean, they could they could have been electric, to be honest. Uh, the systems here, oh God, there we go. That cars are dirty, gone through, gone through that, now the cars are dirty. This system here, I mean, works very well. Apple CarPlay. Yeah, it's got Apple CarPlay, which is fantastic. I mean, that is pretty essential. Woo! That thing sounds good. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. Send it, son! Send it! <laughs> In we come! Way! Oh. <laughs> uh, are we home now? We thought we were home like ages ago. Okay. Now we're home. We're, he's meant to go in there? Super still, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oof. No problem. I mean, no we're, way. we're in a rally car. Is that serious? But he is driving. He's going for it. He is driving the Scud <laughs> off road. Okay, why not? New concept. <laughs> This is hilarious. No fucking way. Look at the light. Yeah, the light. The light's freaking out. <laughs> oh, is he stuck? All right, let's keep driving. At least we're testing the rally capabilities of the 
GIR. See, the thing is, I can't lift my head too high because I've got a GoPro on it. Ow! And I keep hitting it. <laughs> so I can't really see much. I don't wait. There is a fucking tractor outside. <laughs> tractor outside? <laughs> Where are you? Hey, Jano! Hey. <laughs> We're in. Okay. Let's follow Jano. We're literally. Let's Jano at we are... Jano. Mate, we were in the city two seconds ago. Now we're following Jano on his tractor. So, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Jano. No, the car's lovely. I like that they've kept the analog um, dials and they haven't gone full digital. I prefer analog. I've now come to the conclusion that I prefer analog dials. What about you? Yeah. It's been so many times that you say that. Yeah, right? Okay, where are we going? Straight or right? Left. 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 Put, put, put oh, this, there, put this. Yeah. you can put this one. I, I empty. I empty is like the, like it's a dual clutch gearbox. Oh, really? Like, like in the GT4, you know? Oh, right, okay. When you downshift. Oh, when you downshift? Yeah. Oh, oh, let's try it. So it's rev matching? Yes. Oh, sick. Oh, very cool. Mate, it, is, it, it feels very planted. The four-wheel drive. What mode are we in now? We're in sport mode, so we've got 70% going to the rear. Oh yeah, it's nice, the rev matching. Yeah, I quite like it. When you can't be asked to actually do it yourself. Okay. The car. Okay, so there's a little bit of understeer around front, but not as much as you'd expect in a car of this type. Put it in sport mode. I'm in sport mode. Okay. Still a little bit of understeer, but I mean normal. Look, all the weights around front, right? You got the engine there. But it's uh, to be more safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To also safe. to set it's, it up that way. It's uh, oversteer every time. It's too dangerous. Yeah, very true. It's also got a manual handbrake, <laughs> so you know we you will can. We will try tomorrow. Oh, we will. Yeah. Oh, okay. We give the car to the um, to the guy driving rally. Oh yes. Ready. Okay. I, we've got a rally driver with us tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Because we're going. Yes, we're driving a. 458 Challenge and a 488 Evo. Evo. Yeah, Challenge Evo. Yeah. Challenge Evo. Lovely. Brand new one. Oh, wow. Yeah, the late, this last, latest, latest one. Of the challenges. Oh, wow. Yeah, the road here is sick. Yeah, the road is incredible, huh? It's your time to shine, sir. Look at this. This is very fun. This is very fun. Sounds good as well now that we don't have a Capristo. Yeah, it feels light. Yeah, it's so light. Have you driven it? Nope, not oh, yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. That's what I said. I'll let him drive. All right. Amazing. Amazing. The brakes are really nice. They're not grabby. They're not. It's not like nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden you get everything. It feels like a Porsche brake. Yeah, it does actually, yeah. which is a good thing. Okay, let's turn around here. This is probably the worst place to turn around, actually. Yes, that's what I was saying. Okay, yep. Okay. We'll keep... We'll... Jano, no, you can turn around here. Is Jano on the Just way? Watch out on Jano, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if Jano is around, then we're fucked up. <laughs> Jano! <laughs> oh, Jano. 260 horsepower is plenty. It feels like 300. Yeah. I mean, you're not far off. Yeah, we will be. Oh, you're gonna tune it? Yeah. Is there a lot of tuning available for this car? Not yet. Okay. Look at this! Look at this! Cut the lines! I really like this IMT mode. It's nice, huh? Yeah. No, brilliant car. Brilliant. Well, before we end up back in um, the countryside, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, very, very last minute video. Wait, let's stop here. Very, oh look, rally car, so you can do it, you know. <laughs> Very last minute, but I figured it was, it was one of those things, you know, when a friend just says, I got this new car, I want you to try it out. I was like, let me bring the, the, the channel along with me. So there you go, hope you guys enjoyed it. Interior, just quickly, you got all your aircon stuff here. Heated seats. And steering. No way. Yeah. Do you have a heated, se where's on, that? On, on the left side, here. Uh, Where? Down, oh down. yeah. yeah. Heated steering wheel. Yeah. In case you want to go to Laponia. Yeah, yeah. In case you you end up in Finland, yeah. you've got this. Okay, awesome. This is auto start and stop. That's everything off. Handbrake. There you go. G good glove box. Who cares? Anyways, there we go. That is the Toyota Yaris. Yeah, sushi. That's what I'm thinking sushi about time. right now. Sushi. <laughs> Guys, please subscribe if you're on already, and I uh, hope you enjoyed our little drive. See you soon. Bye bye.